Right, yeah. okay, so, I mean, we've already done cheeks today, but if I had Sue as one of my clients and she says it's dropping down here, obviously you can fill these out to make it look less, but one of the best things to do when you think about it would be to start lifting from here, yeah? So you'd lift from here, that means then you don't need so much filler here and here. I'm actually going to do today, I'm going to inject some lift into her cheeks. I'm going to inject it with a needle, okay? So I'm going to bring her cheeks up a little bit. So you'll see it done with an injection rather than a cannula. And I'm going to do all of this with injection, with, with needles then, rather than cannula, okay? So I'll be doing the nasal labials and I'll also be doing some down here. When we do the advanced course, I would do the cheeks. I would also do the nasal labial with the cannula. And I can also reach down here with the cannula as well. So I do it all under one cannula. All right, but today we're just going to use a needle, okay? If I was to aspirate there, you need to pull back a lot. The, the, the filler itself is very viscose, it's a thick gel. So you need to pull an awful lot back. Go in gently. Right, I'm on bone. Okay. And you, I'm going to inject it very, very, very slowly. How much do you put in there? Again, it depends on the person. I want to use 0.5 either side, so I'll most probably do sort of like 0.2 and a half, I'd do two points of injection. And the reason you have to put this deep, if you didn't, because it's got that G, the G prime, resistance to deformity, you would end up with big lumps if you put it too shallow. You can see there's like a couple of little bumps there, and I can just sort of like massage that down. And I can see by looking down at it from this angle that that has lifted that already. I can see it from this angle here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. There, you've just got that slight lift there. Okay, and that's just, you know, compared to the other side, that's just half a mil in there. Mm -hmm. Can you hit that way for me? So I'm feeling for the cheekbone. When we... When we do the actual training course for advance, we do mark up. But as I said today, it's not a training course, so. Right, okay, so that's the, there is a lift there. And like I said, it's a good idea when you're doing tear troughs as well, to take a photo from this angle and when you're doing noses. Because if you take it from the head of the bed, then you can actually, you can see, you get quite a good look at what you're doing. Okay, so I measure from the corner of the nose where I want, okay, for the needle. Put my finger there. I go in at 90 degrees, I put a third of the needle in, then I angle it back, and you should be pretty safe then. And you go in that way. So I'm going to fan it. So I'm injecting very slowly on the way out. <coughs> and again, I'm going to do three fans here. Stop injecting before you come out. Then by pushing that, you can actually see where I need to go. You can see the line come in. So I'm just going to overlap <coughs> it slightly. Going again at 90, through to the needle, angle it, and in. What you need to start doing now is, is looking at the anatomy of the facial arteries, mm -hmm. and where the angular artery is and all the different ones. So, so as you've got some idea... You know, where it is. You can get some quite good photos. It might be a good idea to have a picture one by the side of you, just so as you're aware of it. The artery for the mouth here as well, if you put a little finger by the edge of the lip, there, you know that facial artery is coming in just about there. So you don't want to go deep there, okay? Okay, so I'm measuring again. Going in at 90 degrees, a little scratch through. Through to the needle, angle it, and up we go. Down. So I'm using volume at the moment, so it's a little bit thicker, therefore it's going to go further for me. That's 
that one there. Sometimes you only need to just do that triangle and it's enough because they haven't got the lines going down there. So again, everybody's different, you know, on what they have done. Try and think about what you're trying to do. You're trying to support this, don't you? I see some people <coughs> trying to inject up there. You're trying to support this, so think of it as though you're building a model or building a house. You need, like, plasticine or something like that. You need to be able to build it. You need to be able to support it, okay? So I'm going to inject that way first, fan it, and then I'm going to go down that way as well and fan it. All right? So it's, it's almost like a, a cross-section, like scaffolding. Right, okay, so... We can see, yeah. Okay, so I'm going in at... Measure the needle again, yeah? Going at 90 degrees. Push it up there. There. If you do a third of the needle, you're going to be at the right depth. And then what I am going to do, I'm just going to put... Those of you that know me, I do the right, my little lollipop just here. And that just helps to turn the corner of the mouth up, okay? What I'm going to do then, I'm going to come from this angle and I'm going to cross section it now. I'm going to support it, okay? So I'm going in from there, almost along the lip line, yeah? And I'm going to fan it again. There, so that's, that's really giving it the support that it needs. Turn for me. Again, I can see from this angle that that side's dipping in quite a lot. And this side has come up now. Again, I'm going to do that. Can you see it pushing up? I'm going to put a little bolus there. Come down this way <coughs> and going inside, like I said, if you put your finger there, that's where the facial artery is, about there. So I'm going to be going inside of that so to make sure I don't hit it. What I am going to do now is I'm just going to fan just there in the dip of the jaw, okay? Normally I'd be doing this with a cannula. So all that does then is where that little dipping was before, it just like smooths it out so it doesn't look like you've got so much of a jowl there. You can turn that way for me. And just say look. There. Has anybody got any questions on that for me so far? Mm -hmm. I mean I finished now anyway, but If you go out and somebody says, oh my God, what have you have done, then it's not a good job. Mm -hmm. You want it to look natural. You don't want people to say, dear, what have you have done?